Welcome to Darth Hawk Gaming. My arcade game Doom Roller now has a Steam page up. Yay! All right, so yes, Doom Roller is a fast-paced physics arcade game. Guide the player's ball through the level, avoiding obstacles in the dreaded Orb of Doom. Orbs of Doom. Collect all the gems within time to proceed to the next level. There's an evil twist, though. Every time you collect a gem, your time decreases by five seconds, automatically. So yeah, and uh, so I have a little bit of a sense of humor here. As you'll see, I'm just going to show a little bit of the trailer. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think that's funny. But anyway, yeah, so that's... um. <clears throat> there are... Uh, multiple variations of the getting your soul sucked out sound but yeah uh <clears throat> and so yeah i'm very pleased with the new logo uh i made for cwdi games my indie studio all right so yeah now this is i made i made that um doom roller in the flax engine uh so it's going to be released maybe sometime in july i was initially going to release it at the end of june but then i found out there's a steam sale that's going to happen in june at the end of june and i'm like uh it's never a good time to release a game uh now it is an arcade game arcade games obviously don't do as well as regular games but hey you know you, you get experience from continuing to program and develop and, and do things so now this is another arcade game i'm working on and yes i'm using unity for this and i have an arcade pack on steam that's a dollar 99 l to 199 and friday night tights geeks and gamers and gamers in general and geeks in general and all the nerds so but yeah, so I'm working on a fourth arcade game uh, for an, an, arcade, an arcade pack I already have on Steam. And uh, like Doom Roller, this one you can create your own level. Add a level. Uh, Doom Roller, you can use a text editor. Uh, and Doom Roller is created with the Flax engine, using the engine for this. Uh, so... <clears throat> For this uh, fourth arcade game, I'm already adding to an arcade pack I have on Steam. You can create the level by drawing stuff, and it will be loaded during runtime and generate the level. So, okay. Yep, here's Oz. Yep, here's Oz. So, right now, uh, <clears throat> have the uh, black color for walls and a green color for a player. But anyway, let's let's see what happens when I do that. Yep. Come over here. So yeah, I'm just just make, testing it out, make sure that the it loads things correctly. So I just did a little doodle. Hey, come on, drunk 3PO. It's a start. I'm making sure I have the the base thing down, like everything down. So that's uh, it's like for Doom Roller. You know, I created the game logic, created the code for the level editor, and you know, then you put everything together. It loads the level up, and it just goes. And that's the way this thing's going to work too. Except for using a text editor, you just draw an image, and uh, Let's actually come down here. Yep. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm using the brush. Save it. Yes, we are going to save it. And then we load it again. Make sure so we can see the boundaries. And so the level is going to be the size of the image. The image can be as big as you want. Um, 
<clears throat> yep. So notice this right here, zero, zero. Okay, where did, oh. yeah, uh, making sure I got the code for that down, make sure it works correctly, then I can add more prefabs to it. And then, you know, when someone creates their own level, the game starts up, loads, and the game object, and the game object, the game logic just goes. So yeah, um, Doom Roller is coming out soon, and uh, this other arcade game that I'm making with Unity is going to be added to the uh, $1.99 arcade pack. Doom Roller is going to be by itself, obviously. And then I am working on a major project, the Space Sim, which I really, really want to have out before this year is over. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to play games and have fun. Have a good day.